Hello everyone, this is Dival20, and welcome to episode 12 of FTB Interactions, uh, where today I am planning to build an infernal furnace. Uh, last episode we got all the components put together for it. Uh, today we need to get some Salus Mundus, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, right? We need a little bit of that stuff. Uh, which is just any crystal and some of the some of this stuff in a in a table here so that should be fine easy peasy and then uh our plan basically is to make this furnace see how it goes it apparently provides for free smelting which is cool uh so i think i do this right yes sailors thank you hooray so let's build this thing out shall we uh i'm gonna put it i think a little bit close to my coke oven, like kind of right near it, but also not directly next to it. I think you have to get on top to drop items in, so we're gonna wanna keep that in mind. Um, and we might wind up moving things around in a bit, right? Like I'm just kinda getting situated in this pack and figuring out where things are at, and then uh, from there we'll kinda figure stuff out, right? And then the other thing we need to get, uh, as a reminder, is we definitely wanna get ourselves um, the bellows, right? So we'll be looking at bellows. Next, arcane bellows from Thalmcraft, not manatide bellows from Batania. Big difference. Um, and then let's look at Thalmcraft's book, Thalmanomenon, to remind ourselves how exactly to build this thing. Because I have a rough idea. I know I have all the resources for it, but exactly how it's built, I kind of forget. Um, cool. So it's going to be like a plus sign and then that in the corners, right? Uh, of obsidian, right? So a plus sign of obsidian and then nether brick in the corners. And let's maybe sleep through this night before it gets too dark out. So plus sign of obsidian and then nether brick in the corners. And this leads to free smelting. And we're going to have to see how fast it is by comparison to some of the other stuff we've got going on. But the main point of this is not necessarily the free smelting. It's more about uh, the, the production of steel. Right, that's that's the main purpose of this is making steel. Cool. All right, so that's step one of this thing, and then next level will be bars in front, and basically just going upwards from there. So boop, 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 boop. We'll put the bars here, and then the obsidian, and then a bucket of lava for which I have a bucket, and we have. Let's get ourselves. Hmm, Trying to think, do I have an extra obsidian laying around or an extra lava laying around? I I may not even have the I don't even have the EMC <laughs> to make another. Uh, yeah, dire please. Don't even have the EMC to make a thing that I need to make. Let's put away some stuff here. Cool. We're going to need another flint axe. There we go. And we're probably gonna need a couple more shears. Good, and some more saplings. I'm gonna get, uh, I don't know if there's a better way to get EMC at this point, but uh, I'm gonna get myself a few more bits of EMC so we can get the lava that we need. And I'll be right back. All right, so there's an extra piece of obsidian that we can turn into a bucket. Now, here's a question that I don't exactly know the answer to, but we're gonna find out probably in a moment. Do I need to wear those gloves now that I have a metal bucket? What do you guys think? I'm thinking yes. The answer is yes. The answer was yes. Still gotta wear the gloves. Still gotta wear the gloves with the hot bucket. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I would think metal, metal's even more gonna transfer the heat, right? Like it's gonna be worse. All right, so you leave the top open, and then it's just building it straight up, right? So, easy peasy. Bop, 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 boop. And then Salus Mundus it, right? And that's it. <laughs> Poof! What's up, dude? Infernal Furnace for the win. Now, I believe that I can place a chest here. Oh, wow, that actually fits right in there? I would not have expected that. I mean, maybe? I can even open it from in there? Double wowzers. And then in theory, anything we want to smelt, can you be smelted? I don't know, I don't even know. Anything we want to smelt uh, can go in here. Let's just try like smooth stone real quick, right? Super simple. We just drop it in the top. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, it works. Cool. How cool is that? I like it. Let's come in here, by the way, because uh, I did some mining between episodes and I threw a stack of uh, crushed copper ore in here. I'm going to throw this into the forge hammer because my understanding is that'll make impure copper dust. Sweet. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to get three of these and see what happens when I drop them in there. Because in theory, I should get a few copper and maybe some nuggets. Look at that. It works. Now, the bellows will make it faster, right? So it's not particularly quick right now, but the bellows will make it faster. So that's exciting, right? That's cool. I like that. All right, so then bellows is what's next. Uh, now, that's going to be an arcane workbench with air crystals. We're going to want three of them, wood, iron, and leather. Seems like a pretty easy recipe, if I'm being honest with myself, which I always am, because that's how I roll. Uh, all right, then. A bit more iron. Uh, crushed iron ore. Yeah, we have a little bit. I can forge hammer you up. Do we have any iron that needs to be pulverized still? Uh, we've got vanadium magnetite. When we pulverize that, we'll make crushed vanadium magnetite ore. And impure vanadium magnetite dust needs to be centrifuged. So as a, as I sort of remember from, uh, whatchamacallit, it's uh, not a great or uh, vanadium magnetite. Like, it's not useful to us yet. Let's put it that way. Um, so I'm probably going to have to go mine for more iron in a minute here, but I think we've got at least enough to cook up. And me putting it in here versus putting it in the furnace outside doesn't matter because the furnace outside doesn't do any more than this one. Um, so that'll get me the iron I need. And then we're going to need, uh, let's see, six leather and some wood. Seems pretty easy to me. I know we've got some leather laying around. Cool. Nice stack of wood. I'll put away the wood that I harvested. I can put this away. I don't need him at the moment. And you're going to go put away bronze plates. And that's all looking pretty good. Meanwhile, iron's done. So we should be good to take three of our air crystals here and make 3x bellows. Now I'm going to need a wand for that, aren't I? Ahaha, that's right. Uh, Thumbanomenon, talk to me about wands. Wands for the win. Do I need to... I need a wand, don't I? Do I need a wand? I forget. No, I'm totally remembering the long version of Thongcraft. I don't need a wand. I just need the crystals in there. Sweet. Well, that made my life easy. Boop. Boop. And a boop. Cool. All right, so with that taken care of, now my curiosity is how fast does it smelt the copper? Now remember, it's basically free smelting at this point, which is cool. Impure pile of copper dust. Definitely faster, right? Noticeably faster. Now, that thing over there, and look, a little bit of flux. Woo. That thing over there can smelt several stacks of 16 at a time. So it's definitely faster in terms of smelting. Oh, look at that, I have the mouse over scanning thing. Sweet. I'm learning things. I'm just checking. A little bit of flux. That was my chunk. A little bit of flux. Not the end of the world, but a little bit. Yeah, I really don't want a flux event to happen here. We're gonna have to be a little careful with that because I have no idea how long it's gonna take before I get to a point where I can deal with that. Well, that was quick and easy. All right, so now for the quest though, right, we need steel ingots and crude steel ingots. So a steel ingot uh, is, I presume, made with a crude steel ingot, which is made in an alloy smelter is iron and coal dust. So an iron ingot and coal dust and iron and getting coal dust, All right? Uh, so we're going to want, that's a lot of steels. How many steels are there? I don't want all these steels. There you go, crude steel ingot. Uh, coal dust is just a pulverizer. We can put it, we can get lignite coal, crushed lignite coal. I wanted to get like normal coal, coal dust. 
So coal itself turns into coal dust. All right, how about regular coal ore, All right? Coal ore can pulverize into crushed coal ore, which can then turn into impure pile of coal dust, which then needs to be washed and it'll be regular coal dust. All right, so that's one route. So what I'm gonna do, I have to mine more coal and I have to mine more iron. So I'm gonna be back in a minute after I do a little bit of mining off camera. I'll tell you, you get a lot of ore from mining. It ain't bad. Loving, loving this jackhammer. Got to find a good source of experience so that I can repair it. But loving, loving, loving the jackhammer. Very, very nice little gadget there. Uh, all right, so I got some iron ore to process. So I think I'm going to take you and do that. And then you can clean up there, and that should be cool. And uh, yeah, good times. Back in a minute after get more coal, though. So just as a reminder, pay attention to the uh, to the to the flowers that you find in the world. So like this big bucket of, of bachelor's button, and look at the quest, and it'll remind you that lapis and aqua is under me. So I know that there's a lapis vein here, probably. Um, and if we scan, we'll see that there's definitely an ore vein under me. So I'm going to add an ore lapis here just to remember that. Uh, but I'm almost to my copper or coal vein that I found before. It's 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 quite that's copper. Hold on, where's the coal? It was a coal one. Really, is it all the way that far away? Holy cow, the coal vein that I found is far away. Um, it's a long walk. It really is. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back once I get there. Well, after I mine coal. I just wanted to show you the whole like flowers thing as a reminder. Check out the flowers and you'll know what ore veins are under you without having to actually dig down, which is a cool, cool approach, right? What do we got over here? So like if we, we found an ore vein, we want to know what it is. So we look at the flowers, there's azure bouquet. And uh, ale, ale, aloe bailey. Oh, look, there's two veins here. Cool. Uh, so the azure bouquets, I want to say we found, right? Azure bouquet. I don't know if that was actually one. It's probably the aloe bailey. Where is it? There it is. That's a copper vein. Cool. Okay. Did I not bring my crystal with me? Bad direwolf. Oh well, we're gonna have to make a run for it and hope we can make it there. Uh, yeah, we can probably make it to that coal vein before it's too bad. And I'll meet you guys in a bit once I get some coal. I just barely made it. Literally just as it was getting too dark out. That was close. I just decided to like dig into the ground. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll be fine. All right, where my coal should be in this general direction? Uh, it's down there-ish. Okay, cool. I could have sworn I found a closer coal vein, but maybe I didn't. I honestly don't remember. I swore there was a closer coal vein here. Wow, look at that. That's cool. I should not be using up the last of my torches. I need more torches. It's just a fact, folks. But anyway, mining up coal. Be right back. All right, not too shabby. Mined up just a little bit of ore. <laughs> Mine for, oh, like only like five minutes, though. It doesn't take long. It really doesn't. It really doesn't take long. Uh, mining is not bad in this pack. Once you find the right ore vein, it's just you chill there for a few minutes and you get like a bunch of stacks of coal or whatever really fast. Like, look how fast. Like, just look. Look how much I got. Now, did I chunk load this area? I totally forget. Did I claim these chunks and chunk load them? I did. Good job, uh, Past Direwolf. That was very smart of you because that means that all my machines have been running this whole time. And that's super cool. Uh, now, here's the question, right? What's the most efficient way to turn this coal into coal dust? That's a super good question. Uh, so there's a bunch of magnetite. Here's some coal ore, right? Uh, so if we wanted to pulverize it, it would double it. So that would be two crushed coal ore, which we could then pulverize or hammer into impure pile of coal dust, right? This gets me extra stuff, but because we're using the steam boiler, he doesn't have an extra slot in his macerator. Um, oh, why did, why did, oh, rip. Totally forgot about that. Oh, well, meh, not the end of the world. Uh, that just means my iron ore hasn't processed this whole time, which is a bummer, which means we're going to want to wait a few minutes. Um, the only other thing that I would say then is that then once we get that processed, we do have to turn it into, uh, let's see, coal ore would need to be pulverized and then either pulverized or hammered. I've been hammering it because I think it's faster. It totally is faster. Um, 
and it gives you the same output, but then you get impure pile of coal dust and we either need to centrifuge it, which we don't have access to, um, or mm, looks like Greg Tech Macerator, basic Macerators can do this, right? But not really, right? So yeah, why does it say I can put that in there? That's not really true. Maybe it is, I don't know. But the real situation is you have to drop it in water, in a cauldron, right? Um, you have to drop it in a cauldron, that's all. And that's all manual, right? Which is the stinky part. Like, I don't know that there's a way to automate the cauldron just yet. So it's like literally drop like, I think it uses a quarter of a bucket. So like you drop four in and then you get a new bucket and then you drop four in and get a new bucket. It's like super painful. Uh, so I think what I might do for this instance is rather than ore double it, I'm just gonna let this thing process the coal ore. So that'll get me one coal immediately, which is good news. And hey, I've got some tin dust here, so that's good times. Um, but we'll do that, right? And that'll get me coal, a stack of coal, right? And then we can throw that through the macerator and then that will be straight up coal dust. So that's what I'll do, right? Um, so let's get, you know, some crushed iron and all that stuff and we'll be back in a minute once uh, I've got all the resources I need to do to make my first steel. Actually, I think I've got everything I need now, right? I just need impure piles of coal dust turn into, so watch, we do that and it eats up some of the water. Right, so it does, you know, a nice-ish job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these over here in my resources that still need to be processed, sort of, just. And then what do we do? We combine this with this, is that it? Or no? What is, what is the actual process here for steel? Uh, we do it in the alloy smeltery. It's either iron dust and coal dust, or iron dust and charcoal dust. Well, that's kind of cool, at least. We could also do it with charcoal dust. And charcoal, remember, we can get from our coke oven out there but it's presumably pretty slow. So I wanna smelt up this impure pile of, whatchamacallit stuff, right? We wanna turn that iron into, into proper iron, right, ingots, and then combine them to make, with the, with the coal dust to make the steel. So I'll be back in a minute once this smelts. Oh, hey, look at that, I got a, I got a reward. Choo-choo, steam, go, burr. Steam age. At last, no more hammering plates together. Moving from doing everything by hand to the glorious steam revolution is going to require some primitive machinery. It's not great, but it's a start. The metals in this world need to be stabilized with some zinc for brass, which is extremely rare. Your best bet is going to be creating alchemical brass with Thongcraft to get started. Yeah, no, I figured all that out. Right? Sweet. So hey, look, uh, another... I need to put these rewards somewhere. I've got my other one in here from some point somewhere. There it is, the equivalent exchange stone. Um, so at some point I need to do something with those rewards. Uh, meanwhile, you almost done. You are done. So we turn that noise off. And uh, then you go into the alloy smeltery with the coal dust, right? Sounds pretty cool. All right, alloy smeltery, steam alloy smelter. That would be six and six, and that's cool. Hey, that's nice and quick, too. Look at that. Crude steel ingots. Beautiful. And then they go into the hellfire, hellfire kiln. Is that right? That's cool. Is that what this thing is called? Infernal Furnace. I guess it's the same thing. Uh, that's that's what the book said at least, right? So crude steel ingot. I think Hellfire Kiln might be a different thing. Oh hey, you can make some crude energy conduits with these. That's cool. Smelts to steel in an infernal furnace only. Well, there you go. Or it can turn into slag. That's cool. It's another use for the stuff. Molten crude steel. Crude steel blocks. And then the quests. Okay, cool. Now the theory is that we should get lots of nuggets because we have, yes, look at that. Eight steel nuggets each. Sweet. That's pretty good. That ain't bad, right? And tell me you're easy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being easy. I was like, just wait until I have to see what the recipe for nuggets to ingots is. Oh, good. It was cool. All right, cool. Uh, now what did it say? Each bellows adds three nuggets to the yield, up to 15 nuggets per crucible, per crude ingot. The initial rate is three steel nuggets. We got eight. So why do we get eight? Because we've got one, two, three bellows going. All my bellows are going. So why did I only get eight per craft? Didn't it say I would get 15 in the quest? I think some of these quest notes are a little bit out of date. So it's three, 
And then the initial rate is one crude iron to three nuggets. Make bellows versus house in the furnace. Each bellows adds three steel nuggets. So that would be three. Yeah, so that should be 12, right? Up to 15 nuggets per crude, right? Well, no, three, three, three is nine plus the initial three is 12. So none of this math makes sense. And I got eight. <laughs> what is going on? None of the math makes sense. And I also did not get anywhere close to what it said I would get. I have no idea. The point is, though, we've got steel, which is cool. Hooray! Quest completed steel. Yay! Infernal Furnace. Woo! That's cool. Hey, 20 per cantio, 64 coal dust, more crude steel, and a hungry chest. Ooh, a hungry chest. Hungry chests are cool, to be fair. Uh, they are fun times, right? Let's remove this guy and put the hungry chest there, because we know that's what's up, right? Hello. And then I'm going to put... Like, I don't think there's any other use for these uh, crude steel ingots. Yeah, why are you doing that? Why are you making eight steel nuggets each? It says 15. Ah, the max is now 10 from the Infernal Furnace. Well, I'm only getting eight. Do I need a fourth bellows? I don't know where a fourth bellows would go, right? Uh... Yeah. I mean, this also indicated that you could do, like, four bellows. But where would a fourth bellows go? Is there, like, a bellows spot on the bottom or something? That would be cool. Let's see. I want to check underneath here. I like that I got 64 coal dust for that. There is a bellows spot down there. Well. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? Another bellows spot. So we can get a little bit more efficiency out of this. So that's cool. Um... Uh, I just checked, there's like a Discord for FTB interactions. So like anytime I have a question like, what's going on here? I uh, I checked that. And guess what I just learned? They uh, reduced the number from plus three to plus two. So the max you can get now is 10. Um, and then we're gonna need an extra air crystal, which luckily we have a little bit of. And then you're gonna go in here and everyone's a winner. Um, so this now should make life a little bit better. Um, which means at least we're getting one ingot per operation rather than a little less than one, right? Uh, so you can go here, apparently. Sweet. And then let's just test that real quick. I want to understand. Just to be sure, we're going to test and make sure because that's what Dyer does, right? So alloy smelter, steam alloy. Uh, we're going to put two of you in here with two of you. And that'll be nice and quick, and impure iron dust, and crushed iron ore, and everybody's a winner. And you come with me, crude steel. And we're going to find out if this gives me 10 nuggets. So we should get 20 nuggets from this now. So a little bit more than an ingot's worth. Look at that. Beautiful. So that does work. Extra cool. I approve. All right. So that explains the math that didn't make sense before. <laughs> that explains the math that didn't make sense before and it makes a little bit more sense now and i'm gonna call that a win cool i'm gonna leave my slag in here for now um and i think that's cool all right guys so i just went through for a few minutes collected all my quest rewards nothing particularly exciting now this quest never the bride always the boiler made uh you can make the upgraded version of regular steam machines that use more steam and are faster but we usually skip these also yes the pun was bad uh yeah i don't know if we need that uh it takes five of these boilers to fully power an lv steam turbine um so high pressure steam coal boiler so does that make Faster than the small steam coal boiler produces 150 millibuckets of steam in 10 ticks. So it makes more steam. So that might be a thing we want to do. I mean, it's only five steel plates, right? Which presumably we can make in the hammerer. Yeah, three to two again. Okay. So, I mean, that's not terribly expensive to make. And that might be worth doing. Because I don't know exactly what this steam boiler makes does this tell me on the tooltip in 25 ticks so it's definitely way faster and we might want the steam for the turbine later it does say in the quest book we typically skip these though um so 
Like on one hand, this stuff is already slowing down because we don't have enough steam. See, we're out of steam. So these things are slowing down for sure. Like this thing is even running because he's not getting steam because this guy's running. He's got enough steam, but he's using literally both of these boilers worth of steam and this guy's not running at all. So having an, uh, a high pressure steam boiler, I'd be curious to see how it works out. How am I for bricks? I can do bricks. I got bricks. I got bricks. I actually got exactly enough bricks. I mean, that's uh, if that's not a sign that I should be trying this out. I don't know what is. I got exactly enough bricks. Uh, let's get some steel. So if we got uh, six of these, we're going to want nine in the hammer, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do is take this out of here for a moment. Let this finish. Cool. And then you need this to happen. And then as he fills up with steam, you can see that happening. It took a second to get going. Hopefully that'll cook. Yeah, see the steam? Like, it, it, it needs to hit a point of steam, right? Yeah. Just for funs, right? Like, just for funs. Like, let's try it out. Um, and I've got my hammer on me? No, it should be in here with my other stuff. And then... Doesn't hurt, right? Quest complete. Booyah! Now, there's no reason to stop these guys producing steam, right? Because we didn't do anything. Um, and that gave me a few more pipes, which is cool. So now what I would want to do is get some buckets of water. Boop, 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 boop. And get you cooking, right? And then meanwhile, you get back to work on your iron, you get back to work on your crushed iron, and everybody's a winner. So now we've got lots of steam production happening, right? And that's cool. So that's four more iterations of this we need to do. One, two, Three. Ideally, there's a way to automate this at some point, right? And uh, I don't know when. I, we have to wait for him to fully temp up. So maybe one, two, three buckets here, and one, two, three more buckets here. Oops. I should probably just make more buckets at some point. Okay, so that not yet producing steam, I don't think. Oh yeah, he is already, cool, awesome. He's already producing steam. That'll help my machines keep running while we work towards LV, which uh, speaking of, get ready for the age of electricity. You can jump into LV now. You might be wise to go and visit the power solutions tab and make sure you have a steam setup that doesn't make you wait forever and ever. Okay. But still, I want an LV machine hole. So at this point, we can make the LV casing, right? We don't have an assembler yet, so we know that's not happening. And uh, tin cables, right? So the LV machine casing is just steel plate around a wrench. Sweet. And tin cables are made with black carpet. Can it be any carpet? It does have to be black. String and tin wire, which is made in uh, tin plates and that. Okay, so that doesn't look so bad. Not so bad. Does it have to be black wool? Right? Does it have to be tin cable? Yeah, does it have to be black carpet? Well, I mean, at least we can transmute. That's cool. That's cool, at least we can transmute. So if it does have to be black carpet, you know, whatever. Uh, let's get some shears. Do we have uh, iron smelted up? We do. Hooray, iron. And uh, what I want to do is find a sheep and maybe lure it here with some wheat. I think that's a good idea. We did set up an area for mobs, right? Like we, or not mobs, like farm animals, right? So let's get some wheat and uh, consider finding sheep, right? Because we set up a little pen for animals here, right? So let me go see if I can find some sheep running around. Uh, hopefully not too far. Every, every time I come by here, I've been snagging these blackberries so that I know I have them when I want to eat them. Do we have a spot yet? Not yet. All right, finding sheep. 
I don't I don't suppose a lasso or anything is available to me, right? No. No, there's no lassos. Is actually Utilities even in the pack? Yes, it is. But I don't see the golden lasso. Uh, mob imprisonment tool? That exists, so industrial foregoing is in the pack. Looks like the standard recipe, to be honest with you. Um, drop disabled. Okay. Yeah. So that's probably not happening yet. I don't think I have a gas tier. I don't think I've had one of those yet. So anyway, gonna find some sheep, bring them home so that I can shear them uh, at will. And probably breed up a bunch. Once I get two, I can just start breeding and then we'll be happy, right? All right, found some sheep. Unfortunately, they are just chilling on a cliff face, which is not cool. But hopefully I can lure them up here. Come on, guys, let's go. Psst, I got food for you. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. You guys can make it. I believe in you. All right. Maybe you can't. Oh, come on, sheep. You guys, let's go. Oh, my goodness. I thought I had some kind of a path here. Not so great, though, did I? If I can just get two of you home, that'll be good enough. Come on. Come on. You too. Don't look at me like that. You know, in hindsight, I should have just made, like, a lead or something, but, eh, it's fine. We're almost there. Success! We made it! Hooray! Come on, sheep. Thank you. And... Shears, please. Beautiful. Now, I'm curious if this tin wire thing will work out. Let's see. The parrots and the bats. That's what's up. Dyer knows all about the parrots and the bats. Okay, you go in there with that. Oh, you're a plant of some kind. Oh my goodness, we have so much junk. We have so much junk. I forget where things go now because I reorganized. Uh, but that seems pretty cool. So let's just see if this works with any color wool. I'm hoping that it does. Our, you know, carpet. Um, so what we want is a tin cable, which needs tin wire and string. We're going to need a hefty amount of string, aren't we? Yes, we are. Uh, but I think we can get that from some crop that everybody yelled at me for missing early on. Tin wire is going to need the wire cutter and a plate. So do we get the wire cutter yet? I don't think we did. Wire cutter. So that is going to need the screwdriver, file, and hammer. Screw We've got the hammer, file. Do we have a screwdriver yet? I don't think we do. Wow, we need a lot of these bits. I got some screws from a quest reward, so I know that. Screwdriver is going to need some rods. And rods are, so that would be file and iron. And then you can be used to make a screwdriver, I believe. Cool. And then to make the cutter, we're gonna need a screw, two rods, and three plates. A screw, two rods. I thought it was the file on the iron. Ah, that direction. And three plates. That's right. It's not one to one. Keep forgetting. You're going to need more lava soon too, aren't you? I wish that worked. Like that, right? And then screwdriver, file, hammer. Screwdriver, file, hammer. And there's your wire cutters, cool. And then we're gonna need some tin plates. Now luckily I have a bunch of tin dust ready to go over here. So let's melt that up. Okay, uh, I might need, by the way, 
before we do that. And I need to get the string farming going. I'll probably, if I don't already, I forget if I planted string. I might have. I totally forget if I did it or not. If I didn't, I'll probably do it between episodes. Uh, but the other thing we probably need is some more lava. So let me get another obsidian out of here. Thank you, sir. Whew, just a little bit of a singe. All right, almost done, Tin Dust. You know, it occurs to me I can just get some tin ingots a little bit quicker in that steam furnace there. Because I only need three of them, right, to test this. And then we're going to wrap up. Because we are definitely at the wrapping up point, and I need to test to see if this works. So you guys do that nice and quick. Cool. And then we're going to cutter you. I think that has to happen in the table. We'll find out. You guys into tin wire. Beautiful. And then, so you do need black carpet. Would you look at that? It needs to be black. All right. Now, apparently world transmutation is a thing, though. So we can definitely do this. And then I think we just need to turn those. Is there a way to, like, transmute it the opposite direction? There you go, right? That'll work. Not a big deal. All right. For now, Dollar 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. Uh, we've got tin wire, which is cool, which means we are super close to me. I'll get this. I'll make some more um, steel plates and a few more other things between episodes. And then when we come back next episode, we'll be ready to break into low voltage machines. Nice. All right, guys. Take it easy.